And Chris, because you, you, I've read that you loved Westerns and that you were yeah. singing to Antoine when he called you about this movie. Yeah. Yep. That's how literally, literally singing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What did you say? Ocean and Dole. Ocean and Dole. <laughs> <laughs> this, this was the same. I, yeah, I was, in fact, when I, when this was happening, because you see, for almost my whole career, I didn't get to decide what role I was going to do, you know, other people made those decisions. I just went out for everything, you know. I was like, I'll be the, the frisky cat food guy if they <laughs> hire me, you know. I don't care. I'll do anything. I just want to. I just want to be a waiter. So I, you know, I would audition for everything, and then I was at the mercy of the decisions of of directors and things like that. And right around this time was really the first time that I had something that I didn't. That it was like an offer, like, hey, will you do this job? Where I was the one to ter determine yes or no. And there were. And maybe two two jobs at that time, and it was like to, I had to determine which one I wanted to do. And I'd never been in that type of situation again or before, and, and it's a really rare. And uh, I was I'm grateful to to have to have that, you know. Um, but I was out with some friends down in Texas hunting, and I was like listening. I was reading Lonesome Dove at the time, and I was re listening to Lonesome Dove book on tape in a tree stand for like four days in the mountain. In, in the in, <laughs> and when I came out, I didn't have no cell any cell service. I came out and. It was like all these messages and this uh, offer had come in for the Magnificent Seven. They're like, you, you, great news, you know, but you have to determine if you're gonna do this or something else. And, and uh, it was so easy for me. I was like, this is a sign, man. I was just listening to Lonesome Dove and mm -hmm. I like, this is, you know, I was with my friends out, out, in, out, in, the, out in the wild and it was a really easy choice for, for me to, to, to be able to make. And so, yeah, I, I don't remember if that was your question, but. <laughs> that was it, that was it. Yeah, uh, that, that was, yeah. And all, all signs were pointing towards this. Oh yeah, and so I called, because we had met, you know, I didn't know if it was gonna it'd be, an, like if they were gonna really offer it to me or not, but we had met and talked about it, and and uh, yeah, when I called, I just called him back and I sang, oh Shenandoah, <laughs> to him on the phone. On the other end, I was like. He's like, I think maybe I, yeah. Two. <laughs> yeah, yeah, two, there's two. So actually, you're your Brenner. Yeah, you were collecting the, yeah, I, yeah, I was collecting yeah, about seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, right, right, yeah, right. I got two, then I spoke to Ethan, and they finally closed this deal, I was like, that's three. I was literally counting down like right, that. Right, right. It's fantastic, yeah.